What you got there? Puff. A puff? Yeah, the cattails, they like explode. They're like super compressed. Yeah. It's interesting seeing everything so uh dead. Dead. Mm -hmm. Like like this over here is just like you can see into the woods, which you normally can't quite see into the woods. I hear critters. Where are them little critters at? There's little critters somewhere. Anyway. Hi. Welcome to uh Monday? It's Monday. It's Monday. Welcome to Monday. I uh I haven't been out for a, a walk in a bit. A lot of my exercise every day has been physical therapy. But um my physical therapist was saying that one of the best things you can do actually is walk because it's a way to use a bunch of different muscles but gently. And I'm like, yeah. Because sometimes the physical therapy stuff I'm doing is pretty extreme. Like mm -hmm. it really wears me out. So maybe alternating would be good. It's just been so cold. Today it's actually manageable. Today it's like 45, which like that's cold. But once you get walking for a little bit. Yeah, it's not terrible. That's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. So we've had a, a pleasant little walk out here. I'm ready to like get back home. <laughs> I'm getting a little cold. I got some other things to do, but that's been nice. I want to talk a little bit tonight about something that has been a problem in the past and then it wasn't a problem for a little bit, and now it's a problem again. So, I know we've moved a lot. Two houses ago, um, the last house that we lived in, in Myrtle Beach, we had a um, humidity problem, um, or I guess lack of. We, we didn't have a lot of uh, humidity in the house, and it got too dry, and it caused static. And you may recall, if you've, if you've been watching for at least a few years, that I actually destroyed a light that way. Static is very dangerous, and there was a time where I went to either turn on or turn off one of our studio lights, and it fried it. And I was like, cool, I hate that. So we countered that the best we could with a humidifier, because um, it was upstairs in the house that there was no humidity. And then we moved to North Carolina. And when we moved to North Carolina, the house that we were in um, actually had a humidifier built in to the uh, AC system or whatever it is. And uh, that was cool. That was nice because everything just stayed perfect. Like I guess it had humidity sensors and it, it could tell whether it needed to do one or the other and it could, it could take care of that, which was awesome. This house doesn't have that. This house doesn't, which kind of makes sense. This house was built, like, don't get me wrong, this is a big house and this is a nice house, but everything is builder grade. And it was built for like the intention of people renting it or, or whatever. Whereas the, the last house had been owned for a long time by a particular person who like worked on the house and like got it all souped up so it had like nice appliances and nice um, cooling system. This house doesn't have that. So we are back to kind of square one when it comes to uh, things being dry. And it's dry. How dry is it? 15. 15% relative humidity. And if you're like, that seems dry. Yeah, that's dry. That's really dry. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's obviously, it's bad downstairs and upstairs. Um, we have two humidifiers and it's more important to have them upstairs because all of the equipment that we use for work, most of the equipment that we use for work is upstairs. The stuff that we're interacting with almost every day, like the camera equipment and stuff in the loft. So like the humidifiers really need to be up there. They can't really be down here. I mean, we could buy more humidifiers, but I'm not super bothered by things being dry. Personally, it's just the risk of static shock destroying something. However, I gotta tell you a fun story. And in order to properly tell you this story, I need to go upstairs into the office. Now, like I was saying, it is dry up here. Um, it is, it still has low humidity. I think we have another, what are those things called? 
hu, hu, homographier, humigr. Anyway, the thing that like reads what the the um, level of humidity is. I think we have another one upstairs somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, but the point I wanted to illustrate is that things are so bad. Look at this, because this is all very wild to me. You see where the Pokedex is? See how it, this is, and some of you are like, oh, cool, Pokedex. Yeah, this is like the old school Pokedex from back in the day. I had one as a kid and I still have it. So it's, it's neat. Anyway, this has been sitting here. That's where it's been sitting. Just like chilling right here. The other day, week ago, maybe, I was leaving my office. And as I left my office, I turned off the lights, as I often do. And when I turned off the lights, the Pokedex came on. And that's weird. My assumption of what's happening here is that the static has moved like the stick because the static will pick up from the um the screw on the thing because i felt the shock from that so like i go to turn off the light i feel a shock and the pokedex turns on and it seems kind of far away to me but like that happened about a week ago and it happened again today <laughs> And when it happened a second time, I was like, I need to talk about this because this is wild. Part of me wonders if I can make it happen on camera. Not that I'm trying to, like, destroy anything, but, like, it's happened twice now, and that's just kind of weird. Although it was a week apart, so, like, I guess the odds of it happening again are kind of low. But, like, I just went, turn off the light. Okay, it's not going to happen. Anyway, when I did that, this came on. It plays a little sound if you've never seen one of these before. So like this beeping, I heard this beeping when I turned the light off. Also, uh, I'm very surprised this thing still works because this is from like childhood and I'm, I'm almost positive I never replaced the battery. It's very, very old. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's weird. I assume that that's static. I don't know what else that could be other than um, a ghost with a very particular <laughs> interest. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know. That just seems very, very strange to me. I guess that's what that is. If anyone knows anything more about it than me, uh, feel free. I should probably move the Pokedex. I mean, for one, because like it's turning on sometimes when I hit the power switch and that's weird. Um, but then also I don't want to like fry it. I think those things are worth something now, which is cool. I don't really have an interest in selling it because it's a fun little thing from my childhood that I enjoy. Um, but I also don't want to like break it. So I'm gonna, I don't know if this is going to help me. I'm going to put it here. Now it's safe. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's it. That's it for today. I wish it weren't so dry. But, it, you know, as, as time goes on, it'll get better. And it has not been as bad as when we lived in Myrtle Beach. When we lived in Myrtle Beach, that was bad. Because even with the humidifier, I was struggling in very big ways to not destroy everything upstairs in that loft. And here, like, as long as I'm relatively careful, it seems like things are fine. But it is still present. Like, there's occasions where I go to, like, adjust the camera... And I shock it, and I'm like, ah, that's bad. <laughs> Don't love that. But I'm trying to be careful, and hopefully everything will be fine, and then eventually it'll get warmer, and there'll be hum more humidity, and then I'll forget all about this for a year. Thanks for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?